Welcome! It's our second quarter, and this second quarter, our character focus is... Drum roll! Dun -dun 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 -dun. Initiative versus idleness. But what is initiative? Let us find out from the beautiful Disney princesses, as beautiful as me. What do you think about initiative? I can say I have initiative because I went to the ball to meet the prince. And I even left my slippers. Initiative. I can say I have initiative because tale as old as time, song as old as rhyme, beauty and the beast. Ah! I let it go. If you know that you have to let it go, then let it go. Can't hold you back anymore. Or let it snow. Hmm? I exchange my tail for legs. Just so I can be part of your world. Initiative. Now you have it from the Disney princesses by looking for my very good mother and let her make me into a princess too. It's the only thing I'm lacking since I already have beauty. Fairy godmother! Fairy godmother! Where are you, fairy godmother? Yes, my dear child, are you looking for me, your fairy godmother? Fairy godmother, I am already beautiful, but I want to be a beautiful princess. Can you make me into a princess? Oh, a princess? That's easy. I can make you into a princess. Ibiti, abiti. Initiative is working for the good of everyone. Initiative means doing things without being told. Initiative is getting your work done. Initiative versus idleness. Let's start with the word initiative. Hmm. Initiative, it means when you do something without being told. For example, you finish your task and you still have an extra time. You look for another task. That is initiative. Initiative. It's making yourself responsible of the things around you. For me, having the initiative is three things. First, you're thinking ahead. Second, you're taking responsibility. And third, you're taking action. Having the initiative. Initiative. This is readiness and ability in initiating action. For me, initiative is defined as the act of taking the first step. If you have initiative, you have the ability to decide what to do next and to do it without needing other people to say what to do. Initiative is taking the first step rather than waiting for someone else for a better time. When we say initiative, it is when someone has an urge to do something that needs to be done. Aha! I don't know what I need to do. Initiative is the ability to decide independently what to do. Initiative is 
initiative is looking out for others when they need help. Initiative is the action of taking the first step or doing what needs to be done and not waiting to be told what to do. Initiative. Initiative is responding to a need without being asked. Well, I hope my son does not ask initiative. In the Cambridge Dictionary, it is the ability to judge what needs to be done and take action. In Hebrew, it is to shop, which means to plan, calculate, invent, and imagine. It is seeing and doing what needs to be done before being asked. It is also having good ideas and turning them from thoughts into actions. It is using the energy of God to do the things God wants us to do, as told by the Holy Spirit. As for initiative, I chased after a rabbit and went into a rabbit hole. I also drank a potion that says, drink me, and so I did. Ah, for me, I let Alice chase me into the rabbit hole. That started everything. One ring to rule them all. One ring. What? <gasps> now what is idleness? Let us ask the teachers what they think while I look for staring at mother. Idleness is not doing anything. Idleness means a person who spend time doing nothing. Idleness is ignoring what you need to do. Idleness is the opposite word for initiative. Idleness is to spend your time doing nothing. In short, laziness. So which one you want? Initiative or idleness? Idleness, it's being irresponsible. It's telling yourself, I didn't mess that up, so I don't have to help cleaning it. Idleness? Hmm, this is a condition of being lazy. Mm -hmm. Idleness, it is the state or condition of being lazy. Idleness is lack of activity or being lazy. Idleness is when someone is being inactive, lazy, and unproductive. Idleness is tending to be lazy and not work hard. Idleness is resting when everyone is working. Idleness. Idleness is spend time doing nothing or doing nothing useful. It's being unproductive or unengaged. Idleness. a good nap. I still don't want to do anything. I just want to lie down and relax. My whole life, just sleeping. Or maybe eating. I'm hungry too. Maybe after I eat, I will sleep again. Yeah, that's good. Do 
you know someone who's like that? Lazy? Not doing anything? Just lying around and sleeping? Hmm. Idleness is not doing what you should be doing. Now there is procrastination. I know, it's a little hard to say. Pro nation. Pro nation. Procrastination. So procrastination is actually delaying or putting off tasks until the last minute. That is procrastination and that is not very good. So with your modules, if you are a procrastinator, then you actually wait until it's already the deadline before you start answering your module. So that is our character focus for this quarter. Initiative versus idleness. So which are you? Do you have initiative? Or are you idle? Lazy? Inactive? Procrastinator? I hope you are initiative. Now where is my fairy godmother? Fairy godmother! I'm taking the initiative to find a look for my fairy godmother. Fairy godmother! me up from my sleep. You keep on shouting and shouting and talking and talking about initiative this, idleness that. What do you want? I told you, fairy godmother, I want to be a princess and not this with my boys like this. Turn me into a princess. Oh, you want to be a princess, do you? Okay. I'll turn you into a princess. Eepity, boppity, clap, clap. Am I a princess now? There's a moral lesson to this story. Be contented with what you have. Bye! Thanks for watching! Hope you like our lesson! Initiative versus idleness.